Good morning friends, uh, GK today presents uh, daily GK and current affairs quiz for 28th of April 2017. Moving on to question number 1. Now question number 1 states, which country has become the first country in the world to ban the mining of metals? Choices are A. El Salvador, B. Mozambique, C. Seychelles or D. Namibia. So the correct choice is A. El Salvador which has become the first country in the world to ban the mining of metals to protect water resources and environment. So as per the text uh, in the official journal, the law bans prospection, exploration, exploitation, extraction or processing of metallic minerals in the country. So it has been signed by the President Sal uh, Salvador Sanchez Serran and it will protect the rural communities which are threatened by the proposed mining projects. Moving on to question number 2. Which city has become the first Indian city to win the Pure Land Fund Planning Excellence and Achievement Awards 2017? Choices are A. New Delhi B. Bhubaneswar C. Guwahati or D. Chennai So the correct choice is B. Bhubaneswar It has become the first Indian city to get this award which is being instituted by American American Planning Association. The number one smart city Bhubaneswar has received this award for good and advanced town planning and also engaging its residents in the planning process. So uh, this will be conferred on 8th of May at uh, the National Planning Conference in New York. Moving on to question number 3. Who has been declared man of the tournament in 2017 T20 Deaf and Dumb Asia Cup? Choices are Praveen Patil, Yashwan Sidhai, Imran Sheikh or Yashwan Naidu. So the correct choice is D that is Yashwan Naidu. He is a deaf and dumb cricketer from Andhra Pradesh. So he comes from Andhra Pradesh and he was declared the man of the tournament in 2017 T20 Deaf and Dumb Asia Cup which was held at Dhaka. So it was held at Dhaka in Bangladesh. So Naidu was instrumental in, uh, in India winning the Asia Cup in Sri Lanka and during uh, 2015 when India lifted World Cup, his bowling won laurels of all. So he is basically a renowned bowler. Moving on to question number 4. Who has been conferred the 52nd edition of Gyan Peet Award 2016? That is, uh, choices are Sankha Ghosh, Chandrasekha Kambara, Vishnu De, or D.R. Bendre. So the correct answer is A. Professor Shankha Ghosh, uh, which is, who is an eminent Bengali poet and a literary critic, has been conferred uh, the 52nd edition of the Gyan Peet Award 2016 by President Mukherjee. Now he was awarded for his outstanding contribution to the field of literature. Some of his creations are Murkho Baro, Murkho Baro, then Samajik, Samajik Noy, also Baborar, Pratna, Prar, Thana, etc. So he has become the sixth Bengali author to win the highest uh, literary award of India after Maheshwat Devi, Tara Shankar Bandopadhyay, Ashapurna Devi, Subhash Mukhopadhyay and Vishnu De. Moving on to question number 5. Who has become the first Indian actor to deliver a speech at the internationally acclaimed TED Talks? Choices are A. Mr. Amitabh Bachchan B. Shah Rukh Khan C. Amir Khan or D. Akshay Kumar. So the correct choice is B. Shah Rukh Khan. So Bollywood star Shah Rukh Khan has become the first Indian actor to deliver a speech at the internationally acclaimed TED Talk. So TED basically stands for Technology, Entertainment and Design. So he attended the TED 2017 conference which was uh, uh, the Future You which was themed as the Future You, which was held at uh, Vancouver, Canada. And he spoke on various issues beginning from his stardom to the changes world has experienced uh, with the introduction of internet. 
Shah Rukh Khan has also partnered with TED to host the Hindi version of this famous talk show. So TED Talks basically are famous for its uh, motivational and inspirational speeches around the world. Moving on to question number six. Venu Chakravarti, who passed away recently, was the renowned personality of which field? Choices are, he is Mr. Venu Chakravarti, politics, journalism, film industry, or D, sports. So the correct choice is C, film industry. Venu Chakravarti, who was 71, uh, the veteran Tamil actor, so he belonged to Tamil cinema. And script writer has passed away. He was well known for his unique centurion voice and trademark pauses in dialogue delivery. So he's acted in over 1000 Tamil movies. Um, Tamil, Telugu, Kannada, Badaga and Malayalam uh, films which uh, playing villain, comic roles and supporting characters. So he has also directed movies on his own and is credited with introducing Silk Smitha. Moving on to question number 7. What is India's rank in 2017 World Press Freedom Index that is WPFI? Choices are 133rd, 144, 131 or 136. So the correct choice is D, 136. So India has been ranked 136 out of a total of 180 countries. In the latest World Press uh, Freedom Index 2017, as per the report, the rank has been slipped three places due to threats from uh, PM Modi's nationalism and growing self-censorship in the mainstream media. So, uh, the report also mentions that journalists were increasingly, increasingly targeted targets of online smear campaigns and threats. So, uh, moving on, the index is topped by Norway. So, this index has been topped by Norway followed by Sweden, Finland and Denmark. Sweden, Finland or Scandinavia. Denmark. China has, uh, China has got 176 position among the 180 nations. Moving on to question number 8. What is the theme of 2017 World Immunization Week? Choices are vaccines work, Close the immunization gap. Are you up to date? Or D, immunization vaccine for you. So the correct choice is A, that is vaccines work. Uh, the 2017 World Immunization Week has started from 24th of April and basically to raise awareness about the critical importance of full immunization throughout life and its role in achieving the 2030 Sustainable Development Goals. So the theme is uh, vaccines work to highlight the importance of immunization as a top global health investment priority and to promote the understanding of the action uh, steps required to achieve the global vaccine action plan. Moving on to question number nine. Which international organization has observed the 2017 World Day on Safety and Health at Work? Choices are United Nations Security Council, International Court of Justice, World Health Organization, or International Labor, Labor Organization. So the correct choice is D, that is International Labor Organization or ILO. Uh, the World Day for Safety and Health at Work is an annual international campaign to promote safe, healthy, and decent work and has been uh, observed by ILO since 2003. Since this has been observed since 2003. So as per estimate, every day 6,300 people die at a result, as a result of occupational accidents or work-related diseases, which means that there are more than 2.3 million deaths per year. So this is very worrisome. The 2017 theme uh, is to optimize the collection and use of occupational safety and health. Focuses on critical need for countries to improve their capacity to collect and utilize reliable occupational uh, safety and health data. Finally, the last question for the quiz, it states, which Indian short film will be screened by UNESCO at, as a part of 2017 World Press Freedom Day in Indonesia? Choices are A. Guthi, B. Azad, C. Little Terrorist, or D. Roadside Ambani. So the correct choice is B. Azad. So Azad uh, will be screened by UNESCO 
as part of 2017 world press freedom day 2017 world press freedom day in indonesia uh, which will be held at jakarta so the movie is written and directed by rahul v chitala it is written and directed by rahul v chitala uh, which tells the story of the dysfunctional relationship between a father and a son so with this we uh, come to a close of this quiz thank you so much for your patience